welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can make pages for your digital planner or notebook. As usual, I'll be using my iPad Pro 11 inch and the second gen Apple Pencil. Everything will be linked in the description below if you're interested in checking out what I use. I'll primarily be working in the app Procreate today and then Keynote for the planner portions of this video. All right, so let's open up Procreate and we'll create a new canvas. You can choose any size or create your own canvas size as you see fit. I'm just going to stick with screen size as I usually choose the size when I create page layouts because I know I can crop it in and edit it later when I move it into my planners. So once your canvas is ready, you can go in and change your brush color. So if you want like a pink dot grid or a blue graph paper or whatever, you can go in and select a different color and you can also rotate your canvas. So I'm going in and selecting my color and then I'm gonna go and select my brushes. I have two brushes that I created, the dot grid and the hexagonal grid. These brushes will be available for free if you are a newsletter subscriber. I have freebies available for anyone on my website and then I have freebies just for those who are signed up with my newsletter. It's really easy to sign up for my newsletter you just head over to my website, kdigitalstudio.com, scroll down to the bottom on the front page, sign up there, and you'll receive subscriber access to even more awesome freebies from me. So now with these brushes, it is as simple as brushing all over the canvas. These brushes really do all the work for you. Once you're done, you can head up to the wrench icon and save it as an image to your camera roll. And now just repeat the same process with the hex grid. And if you want to do a regular graph style paper, you can actually head to the textures library on Procreate. It already comes with a grid option, but I'll show you how you can make grid paper in the Keynote app itself too. All right, so now in Keynote, I just selected a random digital notebook, but the process is the same for all digital planners or notebooks and whatnot. So I'm going to go under the paintbrush tool and make sure I am under the style selection and then click this fill option. Then move over to image and then just select the paper style that you made in Procreate from your camera roll. You can go in and mess with a few of the fill image features to achieve a look that you like. You can also toggle on the color overlay, change it to white, and then this pretty much acts as an opacity so you can make your dot grid or any paper style a little more subtle if that's a look you're after. Alright, so now to show you how to make a graph paper in Keynote itself, you'll head over to your table creator. I'm going in and changing the color fill because I want it to be white. Then you can go in and change the actual borders of the cells as well. So I'm going in and changing the cell borders to black, but honestly, get creative with this, play around with the app, resize the table to fit the entire page, and then you'll just add a ton of columns and rows. I don't have a set number that I use whenever I'm reaching this horizontal and vertical column style, so I just go by what I think looks best. To make lined paper, you'll essentially do all the same steps as making the graph paper, except that when you go to the edit cells border selection, that you select one of the singular line options. Then you'll just resize the table and add the number of rows that you need to achieve the look that you want. And that's it, super easy and simple. Don't forget to sign up for my newsletter to get access to the dot and hex grid brushes if you want. And if you're interested in how to create templates for your digital planner, like monthly or weekly pages, I have a video already up on my channel that shows you how to do just that. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you like my content and I'll see you in my next video.